Hi y'all, thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. If you are my returning subscriber, hey. I have a few young ladies that's in my circle who finally has decided to get their finances in order, start cash stuff in some envelopes. And for the sake of them, I told them that I'm gonna start all over with them. I personally have been stuffing envelopes for like a couple years now. Um, I am so happy I discovered that Dave Ramsey method one night in bed. Since then, I've been watching, you know, these type of videos like cash stuffing and things of that nature. I had started immediately. Um, so I'm, I was happy I found that way of saving. And now I'm just going to be happy to show the young ladies around me through my videos how they can do it as well. Um, one is very near and dear to my heart. So I'm like, let me do this video for everybody who I know I rock with personally who's trying to do this because it's one thing to see people you don't know, but it's different when you actually see people that you know personally doing it and you're able to do it together and you guys kind of keep each other accountable and, you know, and make sure everybody's stuffing. Did you stuff your envelopes? Girl, yeah, you know, I save, you know, all that. So anyway, let's get right to this. Okay, so... Since this is going to be for those of you who are beginning, you have to keep track of your finances. You have to make mental notes on paper. I have so many notebooks where I write down stuff like, okay, this bill is due this day. If I was to pay this bill and separate it into four weeks, how much would I need to pay them weekly? Like, I do all that to keep up with what I need to do. So you have to do what works for you. I do not stuff for my rent, my car note, my car insurance my light bill, my water bill, because that is hooked up with my rent. Um, Apple Music, Apple Storage. It's a few things that's going on in my life that I do not cash stuff for. And it's, for me personally, it's easier for me to leave that money in my Chase checking, which pays my bills. And then I have, you know, my little spending money I send to my Wells Fargo account. And then I have what I save out of my paycheck that I send to my T-Mobile banking account. And I don't know if y'all with T-Mobile and y'all not banking with T-Mobile, T-Mobile is not paying me for this, but why not hip somebody to something they don't know? T-Mobile is one of the only banks that I personally know, that bank that I've banked with, who will give you up to, what is it, three or 4% interest on your money that you save in every month? Like, come on now. Chase and Wells Fargo give you 0.01% if I'm not mistaken. And that's where a majority of my savings go into T-Mobile. Now, don't get me wrong. I save for the house. And I save for the house because you never know. If electronics was to go down or something and you didn't got all your money in the bank, you screwed. So I suggest everybody keep a stash at home somewhere where if somebody broke in, they wouldn't look. That's all I got to say. Like, so, um... These are empty. Reason being is because these are my boys' haircuts. They got their haircuts on Wednesday of last week. I got my nails did this Friday, which was the 4th, I want to say. I bought my Cricut. I was saving for a Cricut, but I bought that. We went out to eat Friday night. And this is my $5 saving one. I'm saving. No, no, this was for my singles, if I'm not mistaken. But I hadn't really been putting the money in the envelopes. I was just like spinning and leaving them wherever <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and set these cash envelopes to the side because i believe we're gonna be stuffing those and spending recklessly in november so this is my main wallet no this is not louis vuitton i bought this off amazon but i liked it because it reminds me of the louis vuitton uh daily organizer so and i like it because it holds so many cards it can hold my cash envelopes the ones that I specifically made to go in here this is all my receipts from spending November and this month so let's get all the cash out okay let's get to the cash stuff and because I know I've been talking um this should be some money okay cool beans because I bought some more Starbucks cups I need to put my coupons away because those are the ones I didn't use all right this is the moolah. And I did not count this, so I don't know how much we stuff in today, but we gonna stuff. And hopefully I got enough, ooh, got enough for all my categories. So off 
to rip because this is from a purchase. This five is going to go in my envelope for my $5 savings challenge. So I'm not going to put this with that unless it's needed to stuff. Where did this come from? Oh, this is five. I mean, the ones I'm supposed to be putting over there. So we're going to put the ones right there. All right, put that receipt right there because I keep over my receipts for at least 30 days. I found myself doing this video early enough to where <laughs> I wouldn't have no distractions. Um, but clearly, okay, this goes out. This is my personal treat. So depending on how much money I spent for myself in the last couple weeks, I probably won't put nothing in my envelope. How many singles I have left after stuffing? That's what's going to go in my dollar envelope. a lengthy video y'all and i do apologize but like i said this is for you know this is how it would be when you start now so i'm gonna pretend because i did empty everything so i'm starting over with y'all even though i'm not new to this i'm saying this there let's have it over here because we might have enough fives for our envelope stuffing all right and we are ready to start stuffing I know, it took a minute, didn't it? But I had to get the money together. So 21 ones. And then, whatever fives I don't use from stuffing, I'm definitely putting them in my $5 envelope for savings. So we're gonna go get this out the way right now. So these are the fives I accumulated from spending. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 35, 50. And then we're gonna go ahead and update my $5 envelope. Second of November, and today is twelve. So eighty five, ninety, ninety five, a hundred. So three, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five. So we got three hundred thirty five now. I started saving fives. In September, the first time I decided to keep a record count was in November. Whatever fives I don't use for stuffing, I'm gonna go in here too. And at the end of the year, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add that in my savings account. I think, or I might leave it at the crib. I don't know. 
So we're gonna put this away. And now it's time to start stuffing. Like I know, I know this video is so lengthy. I'm so sorry. But anybody who's doing their finances at home, and if you actually stuffing these envelopes, y'all don't see this part. You know, you just get it when the money's out and they stuffing. Like you don't see how it starts. <laughs> this is how it starts. All right, so hopefully y'all can see. So first we got car maintenance. They get 50. Oil changes will be coming up in a minute, as well as car tags. So savings, 25. Sinaji is 10. Steven is 10 which they gonna spend this before this week is out because Steven needs Xbox Live or something to be able to put online. He asked me last night. And then my boys, they my older boys were getting 10 too, but I'm gonna get them five. So Mo gets 10 because he gets groomed. That hygiene only gets three. I already have $8 in CVS money. So I'm only going to put three in here. But anywho, family night is 20. We went out to eat Friday. Um, Order in, it's going to get 20. This is that weekend money when we don't want to cook. Household. It's gonna get three. Um, coupons, this substitute for my coupons and my groceries. Um, since COVID, I have been able to get food stamps. <laughs> and I ain't ashamed to say it because for years I didn't, but I'm glad I do now. Uh, coupons, we only gonna do five because at some point them food stamps do run out. But we gonna get them five. Uh, Sam gets ten. Nope, we got one ten left. Cool thing. Sam's get ten. Disney Plus gets five. For the sake of one, put some sides away. Three, four. Oh, yeah, and I'm in my PJs, y'all. So, this is my house coach, y'all. See, <laughs> I bought it from Sam. It goes all the way down past my. It goes to your cast. It zips up. It got two pockets. And it's this little cute, little warm, fuzzy uh, stuff. That's what the gowns, the house robe is made of. Amazon Prime gets $8. So we did Disney, Amazon, undergarments is 20. What else we got? Date night. Oh, okay, now we over here. I am done with this one. Get these out of there. And I'm just gonna stick this over here. Now I gotta find the envelopes. I normally do 50 for savings and I put 25 in that one and since I'm paying every two weeks and that one was weekly this one gonna get 50 so we're gonna move right along we, we ain't gonna keep wasting time on that one nails 15 But because I know y'all, I know this is supposed to be a weekly thing, but because I know how much my nails be, 
I'm not even finna play and, and, and do this. And I'm sorry for beginners who do need to do this weekly. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my nail money in here because I got an appointment coming up in three weeks. So I ain't finna play with them either. There go my savings and that. Um, Cosmetics, y'all. I just don't feel right shopping for cosmetics like I did last year. Um, So I ain't really put nothing in here. I ordered some Chanel lip gloss the beginning of COVID, maybe like May. Then I had bought another one. So I'm not going to put anything in here. I'm not going to put anything in a new purse. Um, I ain't going to get nothing from me this year. Like I say, I got to see how much money I've been. Oh, date night. There you go. <laughs> like now I know. All right. So date night. It's 25. Okay, hold on. I ain't got enough cash. We we did something. Nails. That's out the way. Haircuts. So for the sake of of all this, let me check off all that I stuffed. Because this is how you gotta do. You gotta go through. So I didn't do date nights. I did my nails and I did 50. Cricket, he ain't enough for me this month. Sports is 20. Clothes is 20. Okay, but like I said, that Dave Ramsey method is you want to zero your budget out. So, day night is gonna get 50 because I'm paid by weekly. Um, I'm sitting here like I'm doing something. Then I got 50. Gifts. We ain't stuffing on purse. I bought it for Cricket. Um, because I was saving for that. Mo, he got 10 for his grooming. But he also, y'all, okay, so I still have cash in here for Mo. This is the brand food I get for him from Uncle Bill's. It's called Holistic Health Extension. Well, they have little bags, right? These little bags is like $3.99, $3.49, one or two. Sometimes it has $3.49 on there. And they be trying to charge me $3.99, but some of the bags actually have $3.99. So when I see a $3.49, I make them give it to me for $3.49 versus $3.99 like they be trying to charge me. But anywho, this is $3 off a of $4 bag of food. So I pay $107. And then... This is if you get the 15 pound bag and I have yet to buy a 15 pound bag because I'm cheap in certain things. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just gonna keep paying a dollar. So let me get him his for $3. No, I'm actually gonna get him two because he don't go through a whole bag in a week. So I'm going out of order here, but I should have did both his envelopes at the same time. But this one was in my purse because I had just got him some food last week when normally it is in this because I don't carry around his envelope. Will it fit in here? I don't carry around his envelope daily. All right. So we got him and his food. Now, Hydra Sports. I'm going to get him 50. And he's going to be done for the month. Like, this is our budget. His It's two people per wrestling, you know, thing. So, it's me and my fiance that goes. That's $10. And then sometimes we buy food while we're there because it's a, it lasts for a few hours. So, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and give his sports envelope 50 So, instead of doing 20 for sports, I'm going to do 50 And he's good for a few weeks. When I get paid in a couple weeks, I won't have to give him anything. I need gas money. And I normally do $30. Oh, I got $20 on the 21st. Gas, they filled up last week. So I'm going to get gas 50 Because remember, I get paid every two weeks. So 25, 25, that'll be my 50 dollars for this week. And I haven't put gas down there. So gas got they 50. Um, this savings, 
$5 envelope is going to be empty. It's going to go back in my purse. The boys' haircuts. I think that's where we left off at because we got gifts, haircuts. They get 10 Their haircuts is $40 for the three of them. And they just got their haircut last week. So we got clothes and then I'm not going to stuff the apple. All right, so gifts is five. And this is my gift envelope, which is why it says, be a blessing to others. And so we definitely did gifts. These are the ones I did not stuff. I did not stuff for a new purse. I did not stuff for cosmetics. Cricut. I don't need anything yet. Um, I have a few people who wanted to buy some stuff for me. So once I get the money from that, this is what's going to go in the Cricut. Whatever little extra money I make selling stuff with my Cricut, seeing that I already saved up the money to buy the Cricut. You know, COVID got everything jacked up. So a lot of envelopes that I would have money in, I ain't really been putting money in them. Like, is that really necessary? Is that really something you want to save for during this time? Like makeup and purses again look i was buying purses so let me not say purses but like makeup and you know traveling we can't even really go nowhere and this is my dollar tree one so i'm gonna go ahead and give dollar tree two dollars because like i said i've been spending so i really don't need anything out of the dollar tree but i'm gonna get them two dollars just for the sake because here and there i go on a dollar tree and give me a box of lemon heads or something so this goes in my purse this goes in my purse, that goes in my purse. This will go in with the rest of the money. And then what I do next, ladies and gents, for those watching. So these $3 is gonna go into my dollar savings envelope. And we left off on the 23rd with this one. Six. And we only add three dollars, so it's gonna be fifty-two dollars. But you know, just to make sure nobody been dipping, we gonna count one. What it said we supposed to have. So what I do next, y'all, because you know, you can't never have too much of an accurate count of your money. I go back through my envelopes, which I should have been doing it while I was putting it away. And then this is what I plan to do. And if it's something different, because as you see, this is gonna be different because I added some 50s. I go ahead, oh my light just died, y'all. And I rewrite. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna rewrite. I'm just gonna do this. Five ones. Then I'm gonna add up the amount down here. So ones is 52. out the way. The ones is 52. I'll do it off side of the envelope. Oh my, how stuff disappeared? Oh, okay. I'm like, wait a minute now. Then we're gonna add these three fives to the um to the envelope. So we got three fives that we're gonna add back in here too. This is why I like doing my math with pencil. So I'm just gonna cross this one out. Well, we got 335, 40, 45, 50. So three, 
Oh, I just wrote all on my hands. So I'm gonna put this top on. So we're gonna add these three. And now we got 350 and five. So what I'm just doing is I'm just going through, writing down how much is in each envelope. We're gonna start with the envelopes that was there. So date night. together that's eight so gotta add that because remember i only put three in cash but i got eight in that card so that matters gotta keep up with your money Disney should be eight. Wait, what's going on with Disney? Oh, five. Amazon should be eight. eight. Undergarments is 20. Clothes didn't get anything. Sports got 50. Yeah, he's 50. He go in my purse, so. All right, Cricket. I said Cricket was gonna get five, but I didn't give Cricket anything. My gas is 50. I wrote this in the wrong spot. So for fives, go here for 350. And then 52 wands. And the amount, let me erase this a little better. So I no discrepancies in my money. Let's add this all up. And this, because this video is coming to an end. Oh my God, this is like 35 minutes. Jeez. And we're going to add it all up so we'll know exactly how much we stuffed. So we got 25. So we stuffed a thousand three dollars today. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed. Um